Even though this guy had thousands of demons, he was able to approach Jesus and he knew that's where his freedom was. I think that's amazing. I also think it's amazing, I was going to say this later, but I'll say it now. I also think it's amazing that thousands of demons caused thousands of pigs to run to their destruction. And yet, even though this guy was seriously demonized, he was able to come to Jesus. I don't care what's happened in your life. I don't actually, I'm not in this, in this little bit. I will when we set one to one. But right now, it's not about your history, what people have done to you, what you've done to yourself, all the sin that may have been committed in your life, through your life, and by you. When you turn to Jesus, you get your freedom. When you come to Jesus, something's going to happen in that encounter with your partnership that changes your world. Oh, but you don't know what's happened to me. That's not the point right now. What I can tell you, it doesn't matter how wounded you are, how unhealed you are, or how demonized you are, or how orphaned you are, you can come to Jesus for your solution. But you don't, I can't. Your can't is your choice. Because this guy did. I think that's amazing. I think it's amazing that thousands of demons couldn't prevent the guy from coming to Jesus. How many people know that those demons did not want to be in front of Jesus? Yeah? Yeah? They, they, would, they would have done anything in their power to prevent that interaction from happening. And yet the guy runs to Jesus. He's breaking chains. He's breaking the things on, the uh, shackles on his feet. He's hurting himself. He's cutting himself. Can I tell you, some people, here's another point. First point, you can come to Jesus. Doesn't matter what's happened in your life. Doesn't matter what is trying to stop you coming to Jesus. You can come to Jesus. And can I encourage you to do that? Because that's where your freedom is. Some people think that, oh, my problem isn't that bad. It's just the way I was brought up. It's just who I am. It's just who I was wired to be. We hear all these excuses for people keeping their issues. As as our senior leader, Duncan Smith, says, demons don't make good pets. Why would you want to keep the junk Why would you want to keep the problems? Why would you want to keep your issues? Jesus died so that you could go through a load of things like sanctification, salvation, pastoring, inner healing, and deliverance so that you could live in freedom. This tells me that demons cause destruction. This tells me that demons cause you to be in despair and demons cause you to hurt yourself. You may not think your actions are hurting yourself, but if they're not in the kingdom, they are hurting you. They may be hurting your relationships with other people. They may be hurting your friendships. Why, why, why? We hear so many whys in pastoral situations. And the answer is always there's something It may not be a demon, it may be a wound, it may be an orphan behaviour, it may be a whole bunch of other bits and pieces, it may be an ungodly belief, it may be an inner vow, it may be a judgement, it may be unforgiveness. But all of these things are causing you to be separated from God. All you need to do is come to God, but I can't. Yes, you can. Demons cause you to self-destruct. Come to Jesus. They cannot prevent you from coming to Jesus.